I'm Mary. I'm Molly. Today we have a very interesting story. Molly, what is it about today? It's called Daddy's Birthday Present. Doris wants to give her daddy a wonderful special gift, but he has everything. So when she asks her daddy for a suggestion what he would want, he gives her a very interesting option. So listen to find out. Hey, it might be a good idea for one of y'all when you try to decide what you want to get for your daddy. Enjoy! Doris was worried. Daddy's birthday was only two weeks away and she couldn't think of a single thing to give him. It was the same old trouble. Daddy seemed to have everything. Handkerchiefs? Yes. Shaving cream? Yes. Tools? Yes. Ties? Well, Daddy didn't like to have anyone buy him ties. He always said a man had to choose his own ties. Socks? Well, maybe he needed some, but there was nothing very romantic about socks. Oh dear, what could a little girl buy for her daddy's birthday? Doris decided to ask Mother. What can I get daddy for his birthday, Mother? I can't think of anything. He doesn't have, unless it is something he doesn't want or he doesn't like. I don't know either, dear. Um, you can get something for his car. But that would cost too much. I know. That's the trouble. The little things he wants, he buys for himself. When he sees them, and the big things take too much money. I think the best thing for you to do is to ask him yourself. Perhaps he will give you an idea. I don't like to do that because then there wouldn't be any secret. And when there is no secret, what's the use of a birthday present at all? I don't know what else to suggest to you. Doris thought it over and decided that she had better follow Mother's advice. Daddy, she said one evening, I have something very important to ask you. What is it, dear? Asked Daddy, picking her up and setting her on his knee. Is it a secret? Yes, it's a big secret. You're not supposed to know about it, but I'll have to ask you just the same. Go ahead. What is it all about? I won't tell anybody. It's about your birthday. I've thought and thought and thought about what to give you for a present and I can't think of anything. What would like what would you like me to give you, Daddy? Daddy held her close to him. How sweet of you to be thinking about me so much. That's the nicest thing of all. I know, but I want to give you a present. I don't know what to buy. You won't let me buy a tie. And I don't want to give you socks and... You darling, it's so good of you to want to buy me something. What do you want? Let me think now, said Daddy, wrinkling up his face. Let me think. Doris watched and waited hopefully I know, said Daddy with a twinkle in his eye. I've just thought of something I want very much. Oh, Gordy, what is it? It is something I wanted for a very long time. Something that I want more than anything else in the world. I'm so glad you thought of something. I, I just hope it won't cost too much. No. I don't think it will. I am sure you can afford it. Oh, do hurry and tell me, Daddy. All right, I'll tell you. What I want most of all for my birthday this year from my little girl is a promise. A promise, said Doris, looking very sober. 
But a promise isn't a birthday present. But this one could be. But what sort of promise, Daddy? A promise that she will always tell the truth. Doris's face was really long now. She remembered how she had told a lie the other day and Daddy had found out. She remembered other times when she had told lies and wondered whether he had found out. That sort of present would be worth much more to me than all the socks and ties and handkerchiefs and candy in the whole wide world. It would be worth more than a brand new Cadillac, even if you could afford to give me one. Still, Doris was silent. Would you like to give me a present like that? I would prize it very much. I'll think about it, Daddy, said Doris, slipping off his knee and hurrying away. When Daddy's birthday arrived, on his plate at breakfast was an envelope marked, very private, special secret. Inside was a little note in Doris's handwriting. It read, Dearest Daddy, I promise with Jesus' help always to tell the truth after this. With lots of love from Doris. That's my very best present, said Daddy, giving Doris a big kiss. I shall keep it always. Then he put the letter in his pocket and went off to work, looking as happy as if someone had given him a million dollars. Thank you friends for watching Uncle Arthur's Bedtime Stories. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so now and click on the bell to receive immediate notification of our new weekly videos. Like, share, and comment. comment. And tune in next week for another amazing true story. Bye! Bye.